249 is still maintaining the traditions that have been in place for over a hundred years and have helped so many young men go through scouting and learn the values and mores of what it takes to be a good citizen, a good American, and a good scout. And you seem to have fulfilled all of that. <coughs> so on behalf of the American Legion, I want to present you with this certificate. It simply states on, upon completion of your Eagle Scout project, uh, we recognize you for all the good that you've done. Thank you very much. We also have uh, representatives from the Marine Corps League, the Brace Sears and Charles Wood. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for the invitation. Congratulations, Donald. It's always a pleasure to be here. Uh, personally, when I'm in Oakland, I always get a little warm feeling when I think about scouting because many years ago when I was a scout in South Bergen, East Rutherford to be specific, we uh, were members of the uh, Pamarac Council. And uh, we traveled from South Bergen way up to the wilds of Oakland <laughs> <laughs> to go to scout camp, which was Camp Tamarack on Skyline Drive, thank you. He's older than me. <laughs> <laughs> Skyline Drive, it seemed like uh, it took forever to get there. Uh, the, Unfortunately, or fortunately, possibly, that camp is no longer in existence. But uh, that's what goes through my mind when I come to Oakland for a scouting event. Uh, we have a packet of uh, things to award to our new Eagle Scout doll, and uh, among them are a certificate of good citizenship and uh, a letter of commendation which uh, reads as follows. Dear Donald, the Marine Corps League of New Jersey and the Lakeland Detachment congratulate you on attaining the rank of Eagle Scout. Since inception, November 10th, 1775, the United States Marine Corps has understood that only a few good men and women are capable of completing the physical, mental, and sometimes seemingly impossible requirements that are needed to be called Marine. So it is with the rank of Eagle Scout. Of the thousands of scouts that enjoy the scouting program, only a handful, less than 5%, will achieve that level in scouting. Another similarity with Marines and Eagle Scouts is that there are no such things as ex-Marines or former Eagle Scouts. These titles remain with you forever. By following the goals of scouting, citizenship training, character development, and personal fitness, along with the requirements in the areas of leadership, service, and outdoor skills, you are well prepared to take your place in the community as a responsible, patriotic leader who will set an example for others to follow. On behalf of all those who have worn or who are now wearing the Marine Corps uniform, <clears throat> Marine Corps uniform we commend your superior achievement. Please accept this citizenship award and eagle patch from the Marine Corps League as our way of showing appreciation to you, the youth of America, our nation's future leaders. Semper Fidelis, signed Charles Huha, Commandant, Raymond Sears, past Commandant. Thank you. Citizenship certificate. Did you do that right? Okay. You did. Oh, I'm catching up to you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> we went to the high, same high school together, but I was a freshman, he was a senior. <laughs> you didn't do this, I know. Correct. We have the 
the Eagle Scout Roll of Honor. It's a, uh, a history of the Eagle Scout Association and evolution of the Eagle Scout badge and a membership application on a reverse. It tells about some other notable Eagle Scouts such as uh, President Gerald Ford and uh, John Glenn, who was a uh, congressman and retired Marine. We also have a uh, our Lakeland Detachment Challenge coin, and we have an Eagle Scout patch from the uh, State Marine Corps League. And since everyone is talking about some campfire stories, hmm. I have my own that I'd like to share with you. In 1957, I was a young 15-year-old <coughs> senior patrol leader, and uh, the, camp, the new camp director, Bill Carney, asked my scoutmaster, Richie Hollick, that uh, he'd like to have somebody come up and take care, take charge of one of the areas at Camp Ahica. Uh, it was Camp Ahica, which was part of, uh, which was in Ahica Council, later became Passaic Valley, and now is Greater North, Northern New Jersey Council. So there's a history there. Camp Ahica was a great camp up in the hills of Tawako. Uh, near Booth. So my scoutmaster recommended me and I, I took the position and um, I was glad for it. I had uh, 30 young boys in my area, Area 2, and they were very experienced because they were seasoned campers and had been going to camp for the last three, four years all summer. But they knew the ropes in and out and some of them were probably just a, a year younger than me. And we had uh, other uh, scouts uh, that were working at the camp called CITs, Counselors in Training. And they were supposed to assist the area leaders with the uh, things that needed to, needed to be done. So I would go to the camp director, tell him my problem, and we had the stairs to our tent, where we were on the platform, that were busted up and we needed to get them fixed. So I saw the camp director and he looked at me, smiled, and says, well, wire it up and make it come out right. <coughs> so like a deer in headlights, I'm thinking, what the heck is this guy talking about? I'm here to leave my 30 boys uh, not to uh, do word games. So I headed back to my area. Uh, my assistant says, well, what do he say? He says, wire it up and make it come out right. He says, what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know, I have the faintest idea. So, but we had to get the thing fixed, so we got some boards, some nails, and a hammer, and, uh, we, and we fixed the stairs. Uh, next time I needed something done, I went back to uh, Bill Carney and gave me the same answer. Wired up and make it come out right. I said, okay. So I'm walking back to the area, and I'm thinking, I think he just uh, told me what I'm supposed to do. Let's use the gray matter between my ears. And, uh, and think about what the problem is and get it fixed. And that's what we did. And it was a great experience. Whatever I've learned in scouting, in the Marine Corps, I, I keep with me throughout life. And Donald, you'll do the same. Because it's something that uh, you're gonna use wherever you go. So I challenge you and everyone, wired up me, come on right. <laughs> Unfortunately, Sheriff Sodino couldn't be here today, so you got me. I hope you're not disappointed. <laughs> um, I'd like to congratulate you on attaining the rank of Eagle Scout, the highest honor in scouting. Burn County is fortunate to have someone with your passion and commitment to the community. So on behalf of myself, Sheriff Michael Sardino, and all the men and women on the Burn County Sheriff's Office, I'd like to congratulate you and wish you, all, wish you luck in all your future endeavors. On a personal note, you don't know me, 
but you do know me. My son's in Troop 88, and I never get tired of doing these functions. Um, my son's 12 years old, and he got into scouting a few years ago. And regardless of all your merit badges, regardless of all the meetings, regardless of all your trips, regardless of all the camping you've done or the things you've done with your friends, those are qualities that, that are instilled in just scouts. And what you've done is earning, you're, you're earning a bigger merit badge and that you're keeping the lamp lit for younger troops like my son. Uh, unfortunately, my son couldn't be here today because he's at a pitching lesson. Um, but I, I haven't come to these things to see what all Eagle Scouts have done. Uh, it's a tremendous accomplishment. You boys really don't know the value that you've achieved. Um, because as a parent, it's encouraging to see your scouts um, put forth the dedication and the discipline and follow through with a goal. And I think your dad said it best. Um, never give up on a goal just because the time it takes to achieve something because time's going to pass anyhow. And what you've all done you should be very proud of. But I personally want to thank you because you're just uh, blazing the path to the, the Boy Scouts behind you and you don't even know it because I, I took a picture of some of your accomplishments and I'll go home and I'll have a discussion with my son and then he's going to talk to his friends at Pack 88 over in Allendale and look what he did and look, oh, can we do that? And you really don't know how it inspires other other younger kids or years behind you. So personally, I really want to thank you very much for all that you've done and for helping my son out who you don't even really know. So thank you very, very much. Um, Cheryl Sordino has sent you a letter and a certificate of commendation for Dolan Gannon, who through the strength of character, drive, determination, and commitment to the leadership and service has achieved, has achieved the rank of Eagle South and a letter of commendation. Donald, thank you so much for everything, and thank you Phil, so much for encouraging my son. I'd like to turn the microphone over to Marilyn Stallman, a uh, past exalted ruler of the Elks Club. Of the congratulate you on your achievement of uh, attaining your Eagle Scout rank. It's a great thing. Um, your, your project is close in my heart. First of all, um, as a elf, we, um, we are passionate about helping special needs children. And it's also special to me as a parent whose now 25-year-old daughter attended the special needs uh, program. Oakland school system. I haven't seen what you've done, but I'm sure that the students and teachers will enjoy it for many years to come. And on behalf of the Oakland Elks, I'd like to present you with this certificate in commemoration of your achievement. Um, we do have an American flag also, which we will present to you at a later time. Because Unlike the scouts, the elks are not always prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Again, my congratulations to you and uh, best to you in the future. Now, from the, uh, the Boy Scouts of America, Northern New Jersey Council, and on behalf of the uh, Ramapo Valley District, I'd like to call it Frank Miller. You know, it's always a pleasure to, to be here with uh, Troop 49. Uh, I'm a father of a Girl Scout Gold Award and a father of an Eagle. So I know exactly what you go through. Okay? But Girl Scouts is harder. <laughs> <laughs> so on, on behalf of Ramapo Valley District, we'd like to present you with this certificate and congratulate you on making the biggest mistake you did in your life. <laughs> And then I believe last and uh, definitely least. <laughs> <laughs> 
On behalf, if we did have a certificate, it would probably say something like this. Um, <laughs> on behalf of the Board of Education, you know, we have, our job is to take resources and, and try to bring the best quality education to the children of Oakland. And we have tremendous teachers and professionals that do that. Uh, but it does take a village and, you know, without uh, people like you who are willing to volunteer to uh, add to that experience for, for everyone, um, it wouldn't be possible to, to be uh, the, the town and the, and the uh, quality of education that we have. So, again, on behalf of the Board of Education, so congratulations and thank you. Okay, so I lied. Um, yeah. <laughs> I have the Assistant Senior Patrol Leader uh, come up to present Donald with a flag that was flown over the Capitol building, um, specifically in his honor. Yeah. That would be you. <laughs> so, on behalf of the troop, I present to you the United States flag that has been flown over the United States Capitol by the Office of the Architect of the Capitol. The Capitol flag program began in 1937 when a member of Congress represented the flag that has flown over the Capitol for constituents. Over the years, the focus of the program gradually expanded to encompass the commemoration special events. Your Eagle Scout honor has been such an event. Congratulations. and a card, which Frank always tells you will not get you out of a drunk driving uh, <laughs> um, and, uh, and uh, other commendations. So, I will now turn this back over to Mr. Burns and take my pre preferred position at the back of the room. There you go. <laughs> All right, don't want to turn your seat. So I'm always, I'm always struck when my friends from the Marine Corps come and they say there's no such thing as a former Marine and no such thing as a former Eagle Scout. I got an email two days ago and I opened the email and there's a picture of a, an extreme vehicle upside down and the email begins to read. Uh, I had the pleasure of being asked to drive in Baja a couple of weeks ago and the car we were following missed a turn, tried too hard, the vehicle rolled over and my driver and I administered first aid and it went on to say, you know, no harm came, everybody was okay. It was a pretty dramatic, pretty dramatic scene with this vehicle upside down. And at dinner that evening, um, the guy who wrote me the email, who was a father of uh, an Eagle Scout from 249, said to the gentleman who was his driver, where did you come by your first aid skills? His immediate response without hesitation was, I'm an Eagle Scout. Now this is somebody who's 46 years old, I believe. So not, I was an Eagle Scout, I used to be an Eagle Scout, I am an Eagle Scout, without a moment's hesitation. They delivered the first aid promptly, everything worked out right, but you are now part of the Brotherhood, congratulations. It's great. Uh, those distinguished guests, thank you for your fine presentations. You do service, great service to us, to dignify what it is that we do. Uh, I thank you for your presence. In closing this court of honor, it is our hope that you have been witness this afternoon, uh, and that will be an ever-present inspiration to all of you. So thank you very much. To the adults present, 
and we do this all the time. Um, I like this quote, and I really think it's appropriate. I would leave you with this quotation. A hundred years from now, it will not matter what your bank account was, the size of the house you lived in, or the kind of car you drove, but the world may be different 100 years from now because you were important in the life of a child. To this end, remember that those who seek to serve come our way, but once as boys, neglect none of them, for among them somewhere may be the man who will lead the world to everlasting peace. At this time, I would like to call Matthew Highland back to close our ceremony. Matthew? Would Quinn Burns please come forward for the benediction? Donald, may honesty and integrity be your guide so that you can only stand by your word. The scout is trustworthy. May you stand by your family, your friends, and your country, even when it is difficult and at times you may feel like you are standing alone. The scout is loyal. May you always offer a helping hand or a cup of cold water to those in need, whether they ask or not. A scout is helpful. May you always be the type of person that will want to be with and to work with and live with. A scout is friendly. May you always show respect to everyone, even those who may not seem to deserve it. A scout is courteous. May harm <coughs> never fall to anyone or anything due to your actions. A scout is kind. May you always follow the laws of man and God. A scout is obedient. May you always greet each, greet each person with a <coughs> smile every day because a scout is cheerful. May you cherish the gifts of God that has, he has bestowed on you and never take them for granted. A scout is thrifty. May the courage you have shown thus far in life only grow as you face deeper challenges on the road ahead. A scout is brave. May your words, mind, and body remain pure as God intended. The scout is clean. May you always love and honor the God which created you in his image. The scout is reverent. May you keep yourself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. And now may the great scout master of all scouts be with us until we meet again. Amen. with us this ceremony. We will invite you to join us for the reception honoring our new Eagle Scout, Donal. Please rise as the color guard retires.